Hi, welcome to this tutorial, another in my series on integrating trig functions where we can simplify our integral by using a trigonometric identity. Now you might like to have a go at these particular integrals. If you do, just pause the video, come back in a moment or two and I'll run through how to do these and you can check your answer with my workings. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Now, both these integrals have the same kind of form. That is, they have a product of a sine x and a cosine x. Sine of an angle times the cosine of the same angle. We've got it down here, even though it's written back to front. OK, it doesn't matter about having this constant at the front. We should be able to cope with that. So, what identity do we use when we've got something like this? Well, you should know the double angle identity. Let's just mark it up over here. The double angle identity sine 2a. Sine 2a is identical to 2 sine a cos a. And if we rearrange this by dividing both sides by 2, can you see that you'll have sine a cos a? sine a cos a is going to be identical to a half sine of 2a. And it's this identity that we use. So when it comes to this integral sine x cos x, all I'm doing is replacing the a with x. So we get half sine 2x. So we can rewrite this as the integral of a half sine 2x. Now I prefer to write constants out the front of an integral and I'd always encourage anybody to do that because it simplifies what you've got to integrate. So in this case we've got to integrate sine 2x with respect to x. What is the integral of sine 2x? Well you should know that it is minus a half cos 2x. And we mustn't forget that constant of integration, plus c. Just clean this up. We've got half times minus a half, so that's going to be minus a quarter. And then we've got minus a quarter cos 2x plus c. OK, well, that might have given you an idea of how we handle this one. So again, I'll give you a moment or two just to pause the video. Come back if you feel that you can have a go at this one. OK, so let's see, how did you get on with this? Well, with this example, it's got the cosine of an angle, 3x over 2, times sine of the same angle, 3x over 2. So although this is written back to front, as opposed to this version up here, it obviously is the same thing. We can think of this as 5 times the integral of cos 3x over 2 sine 3x over 2, where 3x over 2 is this a. So we end up with half sine of 2a, two lots of 3x over 2, which is going to be 3x. So this becomes 5 times the integral of a half sine 3x. Now I'm going to pull the half out the front, so write that as 5 over 2, and then we have this as sine 3x. And we integrate that with respect to x. OK, so what is the integral of sine 3x? Well, it's going to be minus a third, this time, cos 3x. And don't forget the constant of integration plus c. So what we need to do now is just multiply 5 over 2 with minus a third, and you get minus 5 over 6. Minus 5 sixths cos of 3x then plus c. So I hope you got that idea then. Whenever you get integrals that have a product of sine x times the cos x and your angles are exactly the same, hopefully you'll remember to use this identity.